gonna need my green mat for this one the raspberry pi pico it's a little board that i've had fun with on this channel but i got one of those emails this morning and i got one of these is it a new raspberry pi pico well not technically so this is the rpi 2040 plus now it's uh, built on the RP2040 chip, which is the same as is in the standard Pico. It was a bit more expensive and it's had some upgrades, but it's not the Raspberry Pi one specifically. This has uh, been made by Waveshare and you know they're encouraging lots of different boards to be made with the 2040 chip. So let's just have a look at it, see what the differences are. I mean, the differences to start is look at how much uh, Raspberry Pi Pico was compared to how much this pluses so side by side obviously this one's got the headers soldered in this one hasn't because this one's just uh, out of the box what have we got that's new well we've got two reset switches instead of the boot selector switch we've got a reset and a boot so captain rossetti we don't need you anymore i'd probably solder you in the wrong place anyway got a different usb port so this has got a usb c on it which is interesting i'll need a new wire for that and uh, the bit that really interests me is this extra little connector that we've got for a battery um, so this has got an onboard lipo charger that's going to be good so hopefully we can charge a battery and do something with this it's made by waveshare i think a board i reviewed on here and played with a while ago can't remember what the board was called i'll link to it here but if you look at the website as well and look at the difference you see this has got four meg on board whereas this has only got uh, 2 meg so we don't need the reset switch we've got this battery thing so i'm going to i'm going to try and uh, plug it in and see what happens and what's it going to do well let's just press these uh, two buttons i think i have to push that one and that one i think that might make it go into bootloader mode can't remember there we go that's in bootloader mode now so i need to copy the uf2 file on it so that's put a uh, new uf2 file on it let's try and connect via thunny and i've got version 1.17 on there so i wrote this little program i've got it running on this original pico this program here every minute it updates the screen and it was an experiment really to see how long i could charge a pi pico on a power bank so far this has been going for 859 minutes started this last night and what i've got it to do start with it just brings the driver for the oled board it sets it up and does timer and it just goes through a loop there it goes to sleep every 60 seconds clears the screen well sets this up as, as a string because i want to reuse it so it sets that string up updates the screen with it and then it writes to a file so this bit i don't think i've done this on the channel before so this opens a file on the flash drive for writing um it just opens it and it will erase the file that's already there and then it writes the time string to it and then it closes so actually i'm going to unplug this new rp2040 plus for a minute and i'm going to put this in but i have to be quite quick because if you look at it first of all it goes to sleep for 60 seconds and then after that it writes the file that's on the the main module so this starts when it powers up it'll just start when the power runs out on that the idea is once the power runs out it will have the last amount of seconds on there that it wrote to the internal flash so i'm going to unplug that which has killed it then i'm going to connect to it and i'm going to open i won't talk about it straight away because i've only got a little bit of time but uh i've forgotten what the last number on that was but let's connect it i'll then open the drive and open it from the pi pico and open that timer.file. file so there you go that's the main running so i'm gonna hit stop whether that stops that running i can't remember but i'll do open from pi pico and on here you might see some files you remember but there should be something called timer file so if i open that there you go it's like 860 minutes so that will be overwritten i might change this later on but what i wanted to do was just see how long a battery would last let's unplug this and i'm going to take out this pico board here 
All right, so this is pin to pin equivalent, this version is. So if you see, I've got the I2C set to pins one and two. Well, with pins naught and one, technically, uh, depending on how you look at it. So I'm defining them there in the software, pin naught and pin one. And then they just go to the clock and the data line on the OLED. Um, so as long as I put this in so that pin one and two match, this should be directly equivalent i hope i've not tried this before this is new so let's zoom in a little bit and you see the screen hopefully so let's plug him in the oled shouldn't start to begin with because uh this program's not on there so let's just save this so main.py file save as save it to oops let's stop first connect to this save as Raspberry Pi, nothing on there, that's as I expect, and I'm going to call it timer.py. So I'm hoping now that's on, that's on there, if I run that, I should get something on the OLED. Oh, no, I've got to copy the SSD1306 library to it, so let's open that first. I think that's on here, yeah, open that. And file, save. Save as Raspberry Pi Pico SSD 1306. So if you remember from many, many videos ago, that's the driver that I use for that screen. And let's try and run that again. Run. OK, so there you go. So it, it says it's directly pin equivalent. It is. It's working the same way. And that timer will increment after 60 seconds. So... Pfft, you don't need to wait for 60 seconds but let's wait don't worry you won't have to only me there you go so that's on there so if i stop the program now this isn't running in its main module but if i open that hopefully there'll be the timer file which should say what's on the screen at the moment so if i open timer file there you go timer one minute all right so that should keep a record of how long the battery lasts so it'd be interesting to see whether this ba the battery, um, this power bank would last the same time as as this one. I don't know whether this is more powerful going, whether this goes faster. It's got more memory. Whether that would have a bearing on it. I don't know. So the RP2040 Plus pin for pin equivalent with the original Pi Pico. Um, so all of the other peripherals should work apart from we've got this battery lipo technology on it as well maybe i'll do some experiments on that later i'll get the uh i'll get a small lipo and put it on there when i get hold of one of these plugs and see how that charges and how that works but an upgrade to the pi pico what can we do with it well maybe we'll come up with some ideas over the next few months okay bye